All right, fellas, welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts update. 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 What are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking more about the mysterious Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, the game that I'm convinced at this point never existed, and this was just somehow fabricated in the dark depths of our minds as a means to cope while we wait for Kingdom Hearts 4. The game is meant to drop this year, and we still haven't really heard too much about when exactly that is happening. At this point, I think most people are convinced that Missing Link is going to be pushed back into 2025. I think also a lot of us were expecting something to come out of TGS for Missing Link. That's been and gone. And in the last video, I talked about how people are randomly starting to receive notifications for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, even though that game has been delisted from app stores. For anyone that still has that game downloaded, randomly, they are starting to receive ghost notifications. Interestingly, these ghost notifications are continuing with some people reporting getting multiple of these coming through the app. The theory and speculation surrounding this is that is it possible that Square Enix as of right now are testing their notification system for Missing Link through the delisted Union Cross. But the big one here, and I want to thank Samu so much for the tip, is that uh, Kingdom Hearts Missing Link was recently added into an alt app store known as Skitch. Now, when I say alt app store, this is not like a bootleg kind of weird illegal underground black market um, alt app store or anything like that. It's very much official and it's actually a great means of being able to find mobile games to kind of uh, filter it down to exactly what you're trying to look for. I've heard about Skitch in the past, so it's interesting that Kingdom Hearts Missing Link has recently popped up on this. And not just popped up on the App Store, but the actual pre-registration uh, button is now available to tap on it. Now, while the game is not available to pre-register on the iOS Store or Google Play Store, and as well as that, if you go over to the Kingdom Hearts Missing Link website, it still mentions that pre-registration information is coming soon, randomly, mysteriously, the Skitch page has been updated so that you can pre-register. Now, when you tap on pre-register, it doesn't really do anything other than applying to receive notifications on your Skitch account for when the game officially launches. So it's really just a notification bell button to say, hey, let me know when the game is finally coming out. So again, I wanna make it very clear that this is a very official app store. And it would also be the only app store that currently has Kingdom Hearts Missing Link listed. Additionally though, the game actually does have a unique description that can't be found anywhere else. I looked over both the English and Japanese Kingdom Hearts Missing Link website, and this one is totally new, as if this might possibly be the description that gets added uh, for when Kingdom Hearts Missing Link eventually gets listed on iOS and Google Play. Set out on an unparalleled adventure with Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, a revolutionary combination of GPS connection and captivating gameplay that smoothly integrates the virtual universe with tangible locations. Explore an intricately crafted map full of formidable foes, imposing bosses and hidden treasures, all set against the charming backdrop of Disney's iconic characters gracing various places of interest. Engage in dynamic combat reminiscent of the unique Kingdom Hearts style, featuring fast-paced 3D action sequences. Observe characters execute agile maneuvers, brandishing their keyblades with exatitude, all seamlessly executed by using intuitive touchscreen commands. Uncover a wide range of collectible rewards, each spotlighting characters and unlocking devastating special abilities, harmoniously integrated with the game's highly anticipated gacha mechanics. I don't think many people are looking forward to the, um, the gacha elements. I think most people are dreading this because they know they're going to be money milked. And even though we hate it, us Kingdom Hearts nerds are going to succumb to the, uh, <laughs> Credit Card of Darkness. Choose from a party of four blending beloved Disney personalities with tried and true Kingdom Hearts heroes, ensuring a synergistic approach to combat, embark on a journey back to the ineffable realm of Scarlet and Kylum, a city of cosmic significance that first appeared in Kingdom Hearts 3, serving as the hub from which all worlds emerge. Plunge into the mystifying astral plane depicted as a domain uniting existence and non-existence, offering an alluring connection to the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 4 
location of Quadratum, an otherworldly metropolis existing beyond the boundaries of reality. Missing Link invites you to engage in an unforgettable odyssey that blurs the lines between reality and fantasy, altering the very core of interactive gaming. It's cool with the mention of the connection to Kingdom Hearts 4 there because we know that there is going to be some strings that will go from Missing Link to KH4, just like how UX is important for the future of Kingdom Hearts. Looking at this new coming saga that will start in KH4, Missing Link is also going to be important as well. Tetsuya Nomura has mentioned that characters that appear in Missing Link will appear in KH4. So it's cool to get the actual official mention even though we know that, like, if you've been paying attention to some of the stuff that came through uh, with this year's Missing Link beta, with finally getting some story cutscenes, it's very obvious that the Astral Plane, which is literally kind of like our own world that Keyblade wielders go to, which is also described as being the place in which the Heartless come from, will likely give us some type of a link to that of Quadratum, the realm of unreality. However, it is worth noting though that the description that's listed here in the listing on Sketch might not necessarily be official from Square Enix. Admittedly, I will say that there are parts of that description that almost seem like they are AI generated, as if the people that were listing uh, Missing Link onto the Sketch platform just put in a prompt on chat GPT to be like, uh, write a Kingdom Hearts Missing Link description. So until we actually see that pop up onto the iOS app store, don't take that description as being 100% official, but it's interesting nonetheless. One other interesting thing is the Fungor landing site link uh, that was meant to be a link to basically launch the app of Kingdom Hearts Missing Link uh, that was never meant to be found by the public. It was a developer link has been removed. So whenever you try to click on the link, you now get a server error message. So there's definitely some kind of strangeness happening. I think all of this stuff that's happened recently towards mobile related Kingdom Hearts stuff and Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, especially with Union Cross being completely delisted across all app stores back in September, it definitely does allude to the fact that Missing Link's silence will hopefully sometime, very soon in fact, be broken. Color me surprised though if it actually does come out that Missing Link will be launching sometime in November or end of October or December, just any time this year, because at this point I've pretty much made up my mind that this game is well and truly pushed into 2025, looking at about springtime for that of Japan and the US. And what's funny is you know how bad the Kingdom Hearts drought is when you're actually excited to get an update from Square Enix to say, hey guys, the game is delayed. It's not coming out this year. Because yes, even though this is a mobile game, there's still some excitement behind it for me personally. It's definitely closer to a traditional Kingdom Hearts experience compared to something like Union Cross. <sighs> Union Cross. But that if Square Enix needs more time, absolutely take it. The thing they have to work on is communication. When you update the website five months ago saying that pre-registration information is coming soon, most people expect that anywhere from a month or two is when pre-registration will begin. Now guys, just some food for thought. I think there is probably something happening either way. If the game is coming out sometime soon or rather in 2025, we should at least hear something towards Missing Link very shortly. Thank you so much for tuning in, fellas. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything going on here. Check out my other social media platforms. A big thank you to my wonderful Turkey-tastic patrons. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.